with that, ladies and gentlemen. I usually take a break between chapters anyway, but... Alright, now we're going into... Because I think there's like 16 or 15 chapters. The Craftsman's Tools. But, uh, yeah, Stelios, I highly implore you to not only follow me, but follow my, uh, or go subscribe to my YouTube channel, just for the fact is that I do, uh, what is it, um, I, I, like, I will have this up, like, with, I premiere videos, so pretty much every day there'll be, like, one or two, uh, videos of games that I'm doing. Because I'm playing anything and I am open to suggestions, so... <laughs> Um, like I said, about 15 or 16. I honestly don't remember. I can pull it up right now. You know what? Fuck it. I can pull it up right now. Man. Now, I'm going to try to do something, and it'll probably be the death of me. Ruben. Does he mean Ruvik? Numbers are irrelevant. They received as they themselves gave, and they served a higher purpose. They furthered my research. This is what's not mere research. The things the papers say were done to those people, those traps. These vermin? These microbes? They're mine to do with as I please. But you are correct. This was not mere research. I'm close to perfection. This is abhorrent. This is my will. Yeah, let's see how many chapters are there uh there are 15 so i am almost done but i i'm not factoring in oh, okay yeah there, there are fit there are 15 and uh yeah but fo follow me on uh i highly recommend uh what is it follow my youtube channel just because it uh will uh it will, uh, like, you know, you get to see all the other games I've done. Mansion, basement note. My children have been taken from me. Was it fate? Was it something he did? Surely not my perfect son. It was that fire. It ruined everything. Took everything. The children are not the same, and neither is Ernesto. He said he was taking care of them, that they were safe, but now he says they're gone. How could that be? A mother would know such a thing. I still hear my darling boy's voice, his laughter, and always from the basement. It cannot be. A mother needs her children. Yeah, yeah, I got the same name on X, and I got the same name on everything. Um, well, here, I'm gonna let's see if there's another, eh, there's nothing else here. And basically what, what the original, uh, the original idea for, or like, what happened to Ruvik, or what's the original idea? Holy shit! Okay, well, no, not breaking through that. But uh, not the original idea. But what basically happened to Ruvik after he was burned to death is his father uh, hid him away in the basement. Basically, hid him away in the basement and just said that the children were gone and they're protected, and that's what drove his mother to be insane. do I have? Let's start there. We ball. Looks like we're playing. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. I did not see that coming.
<laughs> I was so confident too. Oh man. Oh shit. I kind of prefer this just because it's easier. Quick enough with the uh, matches, you can you can definitely deal with all the problems you have. Oh shit! Is that sawed off shotgun? Oof. He almost got a shot off. Keyword almost. A little too close for comfort. I'm not gonna lie. game you play in YouTube, the Borderlands got great quality. Oh, thanks. Yeah, me and my friends still need to finish, uh, uh, Borderlands. It's not s uh, the battery pack. The large portable storage cell can be used to get electrical equipment working in an emergency. Uh, it's not so much that it's, uh, what is it, uh, it, it, it's not so much that, like, we haven't finished the game, it's literally the fact that, uh, we need to, uh, finish the, uh, like, the DLC. We haven't started the DLC yet. Oh, damn. Okay, at least I found what I was looking for, at least what I th think I'm supposed to be looking, looking for. Ooh, shotgun chills. Yeah, because I got Borderlands 1, but we're planning on redoing that one. Oof. It's the only thing I hate about a first aid kit. It increases my health a little bit, but, like, the side effect that you have after you... After you inject it is annoying. But. But yeah, I, I play all types of games. I have, uh. Oh shit. Oh, shit. 
His head is still up. That's funny. Uh, yeah, I play. I play a bunch of games, though. I mean, this is kind of my life, and I want to make it. A, I want to make. I want to actually make this a career. I would hope that I could, at some point. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if I have the charisma, but I can try. That's what. That's what. That's what I can do. Did I get the battery pack? Let me make sure I did. Yeah, yeah I did. Alright. Yeah, I actually... Yeah, Pooped, I actually love that detail, to be honest. And to be honest, I kind of brought the fan on myself. I'm not going to lie, because it was my fault. And the thing I hate is that you have to stand to fucking aim. Well, I mean, I've had it for like six days. I, I've, oh, well, I mean, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've been, uh, I've been streaming for about six to eight, eight years, give or take. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh! Damn it! I I hate that more than anything. That the minute they approach you, it's automatic that they that they attack you. And it's not so much that I have a problem with them attacking. It's not like it's the the no defense. I'm standing and I just have to stand there and take it. And I fucking hate that because it's like why? Uh, start with questions so you can get exercise. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, like, I, I encourage everybody to ask me anything. Like, where I'm from, like, what's my background, stuff like that. How I lost my eye, that's a very popular one that people want to know. But when you wear an eye patch, it's... There you go. When you wear your eye patch, you're just kind of asking for it at that point. Alright. There we go. And to be fair, I kind of brought the fan on myself because I tripped the alarm and that's what starts when you do that. But, like, and I encourage people to check out my YouTube channel. The problem was that I didn't advertise uh, well and I also didn't use tags. So, that, that was kind of the problem. Ah, shit. Hey, what's going on, man? There you go. Stay down, asshole. Yeah, I'm using too much shotgun ammo, but I just got some, and I... Ah, damn. Oh, no, it's not a Halloween thing. I actually lost my eye. I wear this even when it's not Halloween. <laughs> I just started wearing it recently because a friend of mine that I stream with actually got it for me because he's like, oh, I want to, I like, and this is actually a thing or uh, a, um, a, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, like it's, it's from one of my favorite video game series. And so that's why I do it. That those guys aren't out in the back. Oh, I love Rumble so much better. I just want to, uh, um, I, I post on YouTube just to kind of get people, but I advertise my Rumble channel and I need to make like a cover photo or not a cover photo, but, uh, a, um, oh God, what's the word? A intro video at some point to kind of show my channel off and stuff like that. Cause
There you go. And let's reload. Oh no, I didn't lose it in a fight. Um, a kid put a rake end down while we were working on something and shook it in my face and it sprung in. Trust me, it would be way better if I lost it in a fight because I was a boxer. Come on, fuck face. Let's... You want to get crazy? Let's get crazy. Name that movie line. Ugh. There you go. See, if I lost it like that, that would have been so much better. There you go. Because at least I could say, like... Yeah. I mean, I mean, my thing is, Rumble does so many things well that... And I, I'm working on doing a Locals integration. Just because I'm still trying to figure out what the hell Locals is for, and I have it, and I don't use it, and I feel like crap because I don't use it. Because I feel like I'm not using a vital resource, you know what I mean? Like, it, okay, okay. Well, okay, everybody, what's your biggest pet peeve in game? Like, 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 or just your biggest, like, weird thing that doesn't make sense? And don't say... And the only reason I say don't say this is because almost everybody does this, and that's like when you fire off a couple shots and then you reload. Because that's like a normal thing that almost everybody does, and I kind of look at it as if everybody does it, then that's not unique. But one of the biggest, weirdest pet peeves I have is having a bunch of, uh, uh, like, currency in-game and then just not being able to use it. <laughs> like, it's such a weird pet peeve to have. Ah, damn it. I don't even know what the hell that was. But... Like, that, that legit made me jump because I had no idea what the fuck it was, but... Oh, yeah, tell me about it. Like, I like Rumble because I can just say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> like, like... Like, I can say... Okay, within reason. Because <laughs> this is going to go to YouTube at some point, so... I... 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 I'm not even overtly political, I just like being able to say whatever the fuck I want within reason. I don't, I don't think it's too much to ask, man. What the? What's the weirdest effect in all the games we have played? Like, what do you mean by, like, the weirdest effect we on games? Like, uh, explain, because I actually need to know. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly confused by the question, so... Yeah, because, like, I, I've always had issues with, like, uh, having a crap ton of currency and just not being able to use it. I don't know what it is about it. It's just such a weird thing where it's just, like, it's staring me in the fucking face and I can't figure out. Oh, God. Ah, damn it. I'm gonna have to shoot this and I really don't want to. Well, let's use... Yeah, let's just use that. Those always have keys in them, so that's why I'm like, okay, I gotta... Oh, crap. I'm trying to remember your question. Oh, uh, like your, like your weirdest, uh, like, like pet peeving games as far as, like, okay, like, for example, like, something weird that you do that not everybody does. So, like, for example, like, my weird pet peeve is that... I, I, if I have a crap ton of currency, like you, you, like you saw me pick up that green gel, all right? If I had a crap ton of green gel and no, nothing to spend it on, that would annoy the fuck out of me to the point where I would probably stop playing. Oh, damn it. Missed. There you go. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. Ah, you 
dick. Fucking ape. Sage Christ. Oh, damn it. Get the fuck off me. still alive. There you go. Yeah, you were moving your head back and forth. It was a dead giveaway. Okay. Yeah, I use Streamlabs OBS, so I can't stream on multiple platforms. Oh, shit. I'm not going to do something stupid, but I am going to just... Ow! Okay. Well, now I kind of got no choice. Oof. Time to put on the beer goggles. Yeah. Yeah, they basically make those first aid kits that you can't use them in combat, which I honestly think is smart but annoying because it's like ah oh, god damn it dude really you're gonna you're gonna do this to me now like I okay there we go oh great another one If I face one of those invisible fucks, I'm going to be very pissed off. Oh yeah, let's just go towards the growling. That's always lovely. I collect all weird knowledge. I note it down on paper, never on my PC or if I phone, but I but I only learn and I don't follow. <laughs> ah, shit. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> I was reading the super chat. <laughs> uh, that's funny. But I only learn and don't follow. Yeah. Yeah, trust me, I'm one of those people that just has like a lot of weird insight into weird shit. But whatever, whatever truth I can find for all countries in general, I would like to be one man's library or army because I hear that that some orgs or hackers deleting free books online. I fucking hate that shit, man. Because I'm just like, dude, like, I'm one of those people that do that does think that knowledge kind of should be free to some point because, like, we need it. Like, like, I, granted, I get that places gotta make money, but, like, come on, man. No, that's a smart thing to do, to be honest. Oh. Great. Every... Oh, great. Now, now all of China knows you're here. Really? Oh. Everything is working. This is not fun. Oh! Damn it. Bitch. Oh, shit. Uh, what the hell is that? Okay. It's 
Excuse me. Excuse me. thing I like about this game is... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, um... Agony Crossbow. Explosion. Stay down. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, no, this is not my first time playing, and it's like my second or third. I played this on Xbox 360, that's like how I remembered it. And then I played it a while back, and then, yeah, then I just started streaming, like, I just started streaming it again recently because it was Halloween. Oh, thank God. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I legit forgot about a lot of this shit, so I'm just, like, going around going, Oh, God damn it! could this get any worse? Uh... Oh! Damn it. Oh, man. I'm really just going around, just going like, Oh, God, because it, it... It honestly feels like there was this, uh... There's this haunted house I did with my girlfriend not too long ago. It's called the Dungeon of Doom. And, uh... Really cool haunted house. They really go all out. It scares the shit out of you. They're really, they're really scary. Love it to death. Wouldn't do it again just for the fact is the strobe lights. Uh, there was a handful of times where they'd used a lot of strobe lights, and it was just killing. Like it literally made me all woozy. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, the traps are fucking amazing. I have the art book for this, and I highly recommend getting it if you like the style of game. I was about to be like, please be stupid enough to... Ah, damn. Ah, damn. Yeah, it, it basically just... It, it literally looks like a Saw game. That's what I find really interesting about it. But uh, we found out, like, earlier, in case you missed it, that uh, the we're inside another guy's mind right now. It's kind of like Inception, but, like, I wouldn't say not. It's kind of like you're, they're, they're, they were studying trying to merge multiple minds together. Oh, shit. Uh, for the Agony Crossbow. Trust me, the Agony Crossbow will be your saving grace, like, all the fucking time. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, that's happened again? Oh, sweet. Eat this, fuckface. Is that, is that 
it? Is that it? Nope, nope. Still alive. Oh. Now I know why a lot of those, like, guards or whatever, when they're fighting something, stand in place because you feel so confident that, that they can't get, like, that they won't get through you. <laughs> oh, bitch. There you go. Anyway, and two books from the Gen... Into Venus of Blind Spot Smashed. Oh, nice. Yeah, I collect dark books from video games, and honestly, this one was the one that I really enjoyed it because it really goes into the multiple. Like, it, I, I like seeing because I got this one. I got Overwatch uh, like three years ago, three or four years ago. My brother got me the. He got me the God of War one as well. Oh shit. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got a, I got a ton of art books, like, and I go through them from time to time just to look at them. Like I said, it just feels like a. Is this place? Like I said, it just feels like a Saw movie. Excuse me. Excuse me, gentlemen. I, I, I just got something to do. Okay. Fuck. <coughs> Damn. Oh, 
shit, not, not dropping in there. Thank you, invincibility frames, that's all I gotta say. Hasla Vista, baby. Uh, top favorite horror movies of all time. Um, number five, I gotta say Saw 1. Saw 1, even though I wouldn't classify it as a horror movie, is probably one of the better better ones. Um, four, the original Alien. The original Alien is one of the best, uh, uh, best uh, suspense movies in all of creation. Um, I would argue Terminator at number three. The original Terminator is another one that's very much a horror movie or a suspense movie. It's not a, uh, it's not like a shoot 'em up. Um, number two, a part of me wants to say Predator, but I, I would honestly say number two would go to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre because goddamn, is that movie terrifying? And then I would honestly argue um, a lot of people don't don't wouldn't say that. Uh, uh, but the manga artists got got architecture books from most countries. Do they know the, the hard one thing for me is to find one of the correct pencils and paper because I am in a remote area and most things are expensive at order. Oh god. But number one, number one's very tricky for me, but I enjoy the, uh, what is it, um, because I said text in some I really like, uh, Jeepers Creepers, ironically. One of the scariest fucking movies I ever saw as a kid, and I really shouldn't have been watching it. Oh shit. Wait a minute, is this when I actually have to fight him? Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, because I know I fight that thing eventually. I just gotta. By those who seek to consume me. There in the darkness, with only the phantoms of my mind to comfort me, to taunt me. I nearly lost myself completely. But then I saw her. Deep down I know she was only an apparition. But I would regain my face. Recover what was taken from me. Restore her. My beloved sister. Oh, I also recommend Pandorum as well. Pandorum's a really interesting, weird movie. But yeah, nothing beats to me the original Alien. The original Alien is a cinematic masterpiece. Alien Romulus wasn't bad either. Highly recommend it. I mean, Gladiator's not a horror movie, though, man. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, February 27, 2012. I've watched friends and colleagues die before. Part of the job that I've taken, it's never easy, but nothing can compare to losing your own child. I'd die a million times over to prevent it, but I can't. I felt so helpless when they lowered that tiny coffin to the ground. The pain is unbearable. I know I shouldn't, but drinking is the only thing that lets me sleep for the last few weeks. I'm worried about Mira. This has been extremely hard on her, and her way of handling it has been unnerving. She wants to be alone, has taken to staying up all night. Says she's doing work to keep her mind off the tragedy, but she seems to be closing herself off to the world. I know what tends to happen when couples lose a child, and I hope that we're strong enough to avoid it. Yeah. Yeah, Pandora, my 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 biological mother hate hated that movie. I wanna give it another go and go at it with a fresh mind. Cause I'm very impressionable, I openly admit that. Have you forgotten something? So like when she said it was terrible, I automatically assumed it was Patrick Higgins, lawyer for the Big Tart. Tariano family. Last seen meeting with a man believed to be a client. 
Yeah, I love Supernatural, but here's the only issue that I really have with Supernatural. I, I watched, like, the up to the third or fourth season, and then I watched it sporadically after that. The only the biggest problem I had with that show was just for the fact that once both the characters died at least once, I was kind of annoyed. Because, like, it, it, it did, I'll openly admit, it did get old for me really quickly. And it's a great series, don't get me wrong. It's just, it there's there's a lot there that I'm just like, uh, dude, like... And and the reason why I love it so much is because it's really based on a, um... Well, I wouldn't say based, but it has a good, um... What, oh, God. Like, um, I, I do a lot of tabletop RPGs. And there is a lot of, uh, like, that is what I would call a, um, uh, like, like, for reference, I tell people if you want to do, like, a, there's a game called, uh, there was a game back in the 90s called um, Vampire the Masquerade. It was also a show at the same time as well. And if you watch the movie um, Underworld, the only reason why Underworld wasn't in my horror movies list is I really don't consider it a horror movie. That's just me. But there was, a, there was a game called ba Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, shit, I remember this. And there was also another one called... Uh, there was also another one that they did because they called it the World of Darkness. And it was Vampire the Masquerade, Hunter the Reckoning, and Hunter the Vigil. And then there was, there was also a video game series as well that they did of the Hunter the Reckoning books. But uh, they had Hunter the, uh, Hunter the Reckoning and Hunter the Vigil. Then they also had um, Mummy... And they had, um, what is it, um, Werewolf. So if you, if you, and, and Supernatural is one of the reference materials that I give people to, if you want to run a Hunter the Vigil campaign. Which one is international? Because I forgot about that one. Yeah, great. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember the writers admitting that that, that one was horrible. But... I hate, I literally hate this just for the fact that you literally have to run from her. You can fight her, but I'm, I, it's an achievement if you do that. And, and I just don't want to do it because I'll openly admit I'm fucking tired. If enough people ask for it, maybe I'll do it. Oh, shit. And she is an insta-kill, so... Oh, fuck. It, it's my thing, it's just the formula got boring for Supernatural. Like, and I'm also a little sad that they didn't use uh, a, lot of, a lot of other monsters. Like, uh, I'm a little sad that they didn't use a lot of... Like, I'm sad they didn't use the Wendigo more than once. Because I, I like, I think the Wendigo is an interesting monster. Okay. Alright, time to heal. Well, I got the chance, because I'm going to have to just... I think the next scene, I'm just going to have to bum rush it. Yep. the minute I pull this lever is the minute I'm gonna have to just run through. Well, I thought so, god damn. There we go. Ah, damn. Okay, now, the, now the question is... this set. Do I gotta... Nope. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do this. Oh, yeah. And there she... And there she goes. And insta kill. It's one of the biggest things I hate about that. 
Poor education radiant truth that Edgar Allan Poe got this special type of writing that I haven't seen anywhere else. Oh yeah, Edgar Allan Poe is a phenomenal writer. I mean, I liked a lot of his short stories. I need to read a lot of uh, what is it? Um, oh God, what's his name? He's he's he did a lot of. Um, oh God, it's not it's not Poe. It's um. There's, it's Edgar Allan Poe, and as far as horror, and then there's one more. He wrote Call of Cthulhu, and I can't remember his fucking name off the top of my head, and it's pissing me off, because people are probably going to rip me to the reds. Oh, shit. Lovecraft. There we go. Thank you for that. Because I, 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 I don't know how I can forget a name like that. Follow the House of the Usher. The only reason I don't like it is the first half is very boring and verbose, but the second half is like a. It's li literally like the first half is like of uh, the fall of the House of the Usher is like you're pulling, you're literally pushing like this, like you know, pushing a large ass rock up fucking hill, and then the second half is nothing but nonstop. Like, oh my god, what the hell. Uh, personally, my favorite is, uh, the, the Mask of the Red Death. That's just me, though. Marangalia is great, yeah. I, I love the, uh, the Mask of the Red Death is my personal favorite. Of course, the Raven, but... Yeah, H.P. Lovecraft, yeah. I'm, I'm actually a little annoyed that there hasn't been a good... I wouldn't say good, but, like, there hasn't been a lot of, um... Uh, Cthulhu Mythos used in a lot of stuff and I'm actually a little sad or maybe maybe it's just the fact that they haven't done a good like HP Lovecraft style game the only one I could really think of was was either Call of Cthulhu back in maybe I think they did one Call of Cthulhu in like 2018 I heard the Sunken City was really cool but I never played it Mask of the Red Death, The Raven, um, The Telltale Heart is a great one by Edgar Allan Poe as well.
Yeah, I have to do this all in one fucking sprint, and trust me, I I absolutely cannot stand it. But to be fair, I think this is the end of it, uh, the on, at the end of the chapter. So, yep, there it is. Okay. But yeah, I need. There's a there's a great movie with uh, John Cusack. Uh, in it called The Raven that was really interesting that was all about um, a, uh, John Cusack plays uh, Edgar Allan Poe and there's what he has to do is uh, there's a serial killer killing in the ways of his old uh, stories so you have to try to solve it. it he has to try to solve it it's pretty interesting After those ones, there's a C.S. Lewis and H.G. Wells for more Alien to Earth, but then there's a stage that they want to bring you to a predictive program, and there's and and that is and there's where contradiction starts. When I was a kid, the Cask of Amontillado scared me. Something about yeah, the Cask of Amontillado scared the crap out of me as well. But the biggest reason why was just for the fact is it was betrayal and it was a like it it, it was being buried alive, being buried alive was one of the, I wouldn't say the, like, it was something, it was something that, it was something that Edgar Allan Poe feared more than anything. C.S. Lewis isn't bad. The problem with C.S. Lewis is the fact that, like, him and Tolkien had arguments about this, and Tolkien always gave, gave had problems with C.S. Lewis because Tolkien had a lot of Christian themes in his books, but it was never so overt. C.S. Lewis, it was in there, but you could tell. Like, it was very, like, Narnia, like, fucking Aslan is Jesus. Like, it is, it is literally clear that Aslan is Jesus. Damn. Burn, bitch. Shoot. Like I'm so f ah, damn it. Like I'm like I'm trying to figure out what the hell I gotta do. Yeah, Cask of Amontillado is is great, but it like I said, it is terrifying as far as like, oh yeah, I'm getting bear, I'm being lured in, and then a friend of mine, and there's like so many red flags, but the guy is drunk, so it doesn't like it doesn't land. Ugh. I mean, I just listen to a lot of, I listen to a lot of people that are far, far smarter than I do. Trust me, I tried reading, uh, I, I literally tried reading Lord of the Rings and the Fellowship of the Ring, and I just, I, I couldn't do it. I don't, I don't hate it, it's just a thing of, like, God, oh, damn it. That's how I felt after reading that, if you're wondering. No, I'm just like, it, it's mostly just that it's very verbose. I honestly just read The Stand by Stephen King, and I think it's amazing but creepy as fuck the way he talks about people. Like, it's it's a great book, don't get me wrong. It's just weird. 
and not everybody's cup of tea. read a lot of fantasy stuff for my uh, role-playing games and stuff like that, because like I said, I do a lot of TTRPGs. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I, I would argue I'm fairly Christian. At least I try to hold those beliefs very... I try to hold those beliefs strongly. It's, to be honest to me, it's difficult. Okay. I'm not gonna go in there because... I literally do not know what I'm supposed to do in here, and it's really starting to piss me off. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No, it's it um I tried listening to it at work and granted it's nice to get lost in the lore, but like I only do audiobooks because of my proclivity, so and it's not even like uh like oh audiobooks are superior, but like I got through Witcher uh The Last Wish fairly quickly, but that's also because they had a really good um person reading it. Tolkien is Tolkien is great, it's just again very verbose. one of my most, like, the ones I like the most, but it's also a very annoying set piece, I'm not gonna lie. where leveling up your sprint really comes in handy. just this, because I did not want to have to go back, all the way back, because I thought I had to, I thought I honestly had to do it all in one go, but, shit. Sweet. Oh, damn it. 
it. But, like, I've listened to a lot of books. I've listened to, um, I, be I, I highly recommend, if you like D&D, the uh, Legend of the Dritz series by R.A. Salvatore. Uh, R.A. Salvatore's a phenomenal writer. He wrote, like, 36 books of Legend of Dritz, which is all about a um, drow elf. That's really great. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, what? It, but um, R.A. Salvatore also wrote the um, uh, Kingdoms of Amular. If you like that game, the, you, you have him to thank because he he did a lot of writing for like D and D and other things. Uh, and that really helped the uh, the writing in that. Oh damn it! I didn't get the green gel, but that's fine. Damn. Uh, thanks, Plutia, for uh, following me. I highly, rec or, I highly recommend it. I highly appreciate it. Who do you think you are? I know who you are. Seb. I know what you crave. What you fear. Will you be able to live with yourself knowing what I'm going to make you do? Poor little Joseph couldn't. Too bad they dragged you into this. But either way, you're mine. To do with as I please. Some chapters are extremely long, and some chapters are just, uh, easy at, like, like, they go by quick. Oh. Well, I'm at it. I should probably heal. There we go. fragment 
Uh, most of the stuff is, well, not most of it. Making an assumption, that was my fault. Okay, that's locked. Oh, wait a minute. I want to see something. Nope, ah, nope, ah, that's locked too. Yeah, he obviously wants me to go somewhere. Yeah, I'm still up, Tim. I'm waiting. Trying Doc, to finish this. Or trying what to... What the hell do you think you're doing? Trying to save us. Really? Because it looks like you're making another monster to me. I don't have time for this, Detective. Neither do I. <sighs> Leslie has been here before. And made it back. He survived being linked to Ruvik. I'm just trying to finish this chapter, Tim. ever, as far as I know. Wonderful. What does that have to do with any of this? He's our way out, Detective. Our only way back. Are you all right? It should have. All right. Why didn't it? I'll, I'll think about it, Tim. I still gotta sleep. Oh, shit. That's it. That's why. Doctor, run! He wants the same thing as us. He... He wants out! Okay, he deserved that shit. After all the crap he put us through. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, Jesus. God damn, when will this goddamn chapter be over? Ruvik must be really pissed now. Breaking a STEM terminal? Never thought he'd go that far. Wait, STEM? Oh, he must be close if he's severing ties with the past. All he has left is his connection to the present. The full STEM in the hospital. Hospital? Beacon Mental Hospital? That's where he'll be, waiting for him. If somebody doesn't get there first, there'll be no way out for anyone. Hmm. Interesting. You have an odor of blood about you. <laughs> Missing Dr. Marcelo or... Jimenez, Chief of Staff at Beacon Mental Hospital, last seen in his office where he made a number of telephone calls. Okay. Um. Up 
that, and you'll see why in a moment. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna save it just in case, because I'm gonna be really tired and I do have work tomorrow, so... I don't want to end it here, but just in case if I have to, because if I can't beat it by 1 a.m. Have you forgotten something? Yeah, I forgot to save. Ooh, wait a minute, hang on. I got, I got two keys here. God, I hate this place. Ooh, goodies. Ooh, nice. 5,000, nice. <sighs> well, she's just sitting there working on her nails. So I just, I, I don't know why I find that so amusing. sure I gotta kill that thing or unalive it. Basically fighting two boss or basically fighting two bosses in one episode. Wait a minute. God damn it. Yeah. Forgot the shotgun shells. Damn it. I didn't look around hard enough. It's the only reason I ran towards him.
Uh, I don't stream every day. I do stream pretty much Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, sometimes Mondays, and and, and sometimes Mondays and Tuesdays. First, not the last. Then a monstrosity in the underground garage. Oh, damn. That was a mess. Ah, I'll see you around, Stelios. I hope this is the first of many streams that you can watch me and, uh, you know, we can have a good repertoire. Okay. And just the fact that I was able to bring him down the first time is pretty nice, because this because the first time I did this, she oh god. I could probably max my health right now. Yeah, they definitely did something to the difficulty. Because I'm playing on survival, which is like the medium, and I played the medium and before, and goddamn. Oh, thank God. Chapter 10 clear. Alright, everybody. Well, this is where I leave you, because I gotta get some sleep, because I... Oh, man. Uh, it is almost 1, 1 a.m. over here, and I gotta, uh, I gotta go to work tomorrow. But I want to thank you all for... Uh, what is it? I want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I got a lot of great projects, like I said, in the works, and I'll be doing plenty of things for you guys but feel free to drop suggestions in my videos whether you're watching on youtube or rumble but please click the rumble link on the youtube video so you can see me live well that's all i got for you guys uh, i'm evan from stupid awesome gaming and i will catch you in the next one good night everybody